Genesis 38, verse 1, Judah and Tamar. It came to pass at that time that Judah departed from his brothers and visited a certain Adulamite, whose name was Hirah. And Judah saw there was a daughter of a certain Canaanite, whose name was Shua. And he married her and went in to her. So she conceived and bore a son, and he called his name Ur. She conceived again and bore a son, and she called his name Onan. And she conceived yet again and bore a son and called his name Shelah. He was at Shezib when she bore him. Then Judah took a, took a wife for Ur, his firstborn, and her name was Tamar. But Ur, Judah's firstborn, was wicked in the sight of the Lord, and the Lord killed him. And Judah said to Onan, Go into your brother's wife and marry her, and raise up an heir to your brother. But Onan knew that the heir would not be his, and it came to pass, when he went in to his brother's wife, that he knitted on the ground, lest he should give an heir to his brother. And the thing which he did displeased the Lord, therefore God killed him also. Then Judah said to Tamar, his daughter-in-law, Remain a widow in your father's house until my son Shelah is grown. For he said, Lest he also die like his brothers. And Tamar went and dwelt in her father's house. Now in the process of time, the daughter of Shua, Judah's wife, died. And Judah was comforted and went up to his sheep shearers at Timnah, he and his friend Harav the Adulamite. And it was told Tamar, saying, Look, your father-in-law is going up to Timnah to shear, shear his sheep. So she took off her widow's garments, covered herself with a veil, and wrapped herself, and sat in an open place which was on the way to Timnah. For she saw that Shelah was grown, and she was not given to him as a wife. When Judah saw her, he thought she was a harlot because she had covered her face. Then he turned to her by the way and said, Please let me come into you. For he did not know that she was his daughter-in-law. So she said, What will you give me that you may come into me? And he said, I will send you a young goat from the flock. So she said, Will you give me a pledge till you send it? Then he said, What pledge shall I give you? So she said, Your signet and cord and your staff that is in your hand. Then he gave them to her and went into her, and she conceived by him. So she arose and went away and laid aside her veil and put on the garments of her widowhood. And Judah sent the young goat by the hand of his friend the Adulamite to receive his pledge from the woman's hand. But he did not find her. Then he asked the men of that place, saying, Where is the harlot who was openly by the roadside? And they said, There was no harlot in this place. So the friend returned to Judah and said, I cannot find her. Also the men of the place said, There was no harlot in this place. Then Judah said, Let her take them for herself, lest we be shamed. For I sent this young goat, and you have not found her. And it came to pass about three months after that Judah was told, saying, Tamar, your daughter-in-law, has played the harlot. Furthermore, she is with child by harlotry. So Judah said, Bring her out and let her be burned. When she was brought out, she sent to her father-in-law, saying, By the man to whom these belong, I am with child. And she said, Please determine whose these are, the signet and cord, and staff. So Judah acknowledged him and said, She has been more righteous than I, because I did not give her to Shelah, my son. And he never knew her again. Now it came to pass at that time for giving birth that, behold, twins were in her womb. And so it was when she was giving birth that the one put out his hand, and the midwife took a scarlet thread and bound it on his hand, saying, This one came out first. Then it happened as he drew back his hand that his brother came out unexpectedly. She said, How did you break through? This breach be upon you. Therefore his name was called Perez. Afterward his brother came out who had the scarlet thread on his hand. 
and his name was called Zerah. 